Welcome to the start of my Let's Play for Sui Coden 5. At least I think that's how it's pronounced. If I'm wrong, someone can try and correct me, though I'll admit I'll probably not be able to read the pronunciation right correctly anyway, so don't worry about it. But yeah, I'm getting kind of annoyed with this game at the moment because every time I try and save, it crashes. This is my third time trying to get the first part recorded, and yeah, that's gonna be important at some point, and so is this. So yes, our bodyguard has quite the dark past, and we'll get into that much, much later in the story. Yeah, this is when the assassination of our mom happens, since we're going to be playing as the prince. Because, you know, you got to play as the prince, right? Even though he's not actually very important as far as um, politics is concerned in this game, because we're going to be in the queendom of Solfalina, so honestly, no one gives a shit about my opinion. But yeah, we got a lot of recruitable characters in this game they are flashing at us right now, because there's actually 109 recruitable characters, which you can only get 108 in any given campaign. So, you have to choose between two characters for like the last slot, effectively. And we'll get to those options later. Honestly, I'm probably going to go with um, one of them in particular, because the other one's a spoiled brat, so I'm not going to worry too much about that decision until we have to make it. Yeah, I know, we're dropping hints at future plot points, because why not? Honestly, this episode's probably going to be short if I can help it. I'm hoping by switching memory cards and not have to deal with a massive, you know, 32 block one, it won't mess up this time. I don't know why that would be an issue, but I'm just going to assume that's the problem. Potentially. Otherwise, I'm going to have to assume, you know, there's something wrong with the, the save itself for some reason. I don't know why it won't let me do it. There's no way I'm going to beat this game, you know, without saving. And yeah, we're going to play as Inuyasha because we got silver hair. He's like the only character I can think of that really has it. I'm sure people can point to other examples, you know, out there. But I can't play Saiyan the... I the, can't think of any others at the moment. So that's what we're going to go with. Better than my previous name. And I guess we'll go with B. I like it a bit more, but you only really hear the prince during battle because he doesn't actually talk. That's why you can name him. It's also why everyone refers to us as prince all the time. And yeah, the ship's got an all-seeing eye on it. I don't know if it's meant to be an Egyptian motif or if it's just you know the all-seeing eye that gets used by Freemasons. There it is, Solfalina. Finally home. I'm really not sure how to feel about this though. After all we've been through. Yeah. Um, for the curious, Silence also has silver hair because she's the queen's younger sister. Um, so she wasn't in line to inherit, at least not well, unless her sister you died. Must feel like your burden's been lifted a little, huh? But Lady Silence, I've never once thought being the prince's bodyguard was any kind of burden. Whether in the Imperial Capital or away, I'll always gladly do whatever it takes to protect the Prince. Being a bodyguard is different from babysitting. Make sure you don't overprotect him. I'm not babysitting anyone, George. And even if I was, so long as the Prince is safe, that's all that matters. <laughs> Isn't my nephew a lucky boy, then? Sure is. Oh, George. What? When we get back to Solvalena, you'd better watch how you talk. Be polite and use the proper forms of address, okay? You know you are ever so right, Leon. George may have forgotten, but I am the younger sister of our glorious queen. One's language must always reflect one's social standing. Wouldn't you agree, Sir George Prime of the Queen's Knights? Ah, oh, shut up, Silides. Hmm. How dare you address royalty that way? Well, that's the George we all know and love, so he can get away with it when it's just the three of us. But if Her Majesty hears a Queen's Knight addressing the Prince improperly, there will be trouble, George. And think of Farid, too. After all, he's the one who recommended you to the Queen's Knights in the first place. Huh. Don't worry. I'm used to court service, you know. I can take care of myself. But geez, lighten up. I thought the Queendom of Felena had more of a laid-back reputation than this. 
Considering the fact that they let someone like you become a knight, I think it's laid back enough. But even I'm afraid of my own sister right now. We really can't afford to make Arshtab mad. Look sharp now, guys. We're about to arrive. All hands! Prepare to dock! Yeah, our welcoming is pretty darn small, but like I said, we're a prince in a queendom. We're just not that important. Hmm. I haven't been in this country for too long, so uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but isn't this kind of a pathetic welcome for the queen's sister and the prince? Yeah, well, what else can you expect? In Felena, male royalty aren't in line for the throne, so they aren't very important. And <laughs> neither am I. Well, you did choose to, um, disinherit yourself, so, yeah, you aren't really all that important. Whatever. Don't get down about it. We'll get important later, I'm sure of it. After all, we're the main character. Even if we are going to spend our time trying to put our younger sister on the throne. Of course, now we're going to be moving to my greatest weakness. Text boxes. Yeah, they didn't feel like voicing the envoy. He's just not that important. Yep. Here it comes. <laughs> yes, his royal highness Prince Iyasha and Lady Silites have returned. I honestly should probably pick a name that's more appropriate for this game, shouldn't I? But whatever. I honestly don't know if there's a default name. Me, if I chose nothing, they would pick it. Oh, don't remind us of Lord Lake. That was beyond exhausting. Yeah, don't even ask. Yeah, I just want to pretend it never happened. Pardon? Just never mind. I see. Uh, in any case, we, um, Arsha Ta. Darn, I can't even say the name correctly. You know what? We'll let the game say it for me. I mean, it's not like she's gonna be around for very long anyway. Like I showed in the, um, opening cutscene for the title scene. Like, she's eventually gonna be eliminated. And it's gonna cause everything else to go to hell in a handbasket because there's gonna be a civil war. But for now, let's load up another scene of us walking to the palace. You know, that was very important. You know, we got to see us walking this long pathway. Not say anything, just show how long of a walk it's to get there. And why do we have the Imperial Palace, you know, in, in the middle of a lake? Like, who builds a and castle like that? The Prince and Her Royal Highness Sialides have returned. Ah, you're back. <laughs> <laughs> You're looking well, my boy. Isn't he in fine spirits? Well, I guess it'll be a fragile banana. But yeah, I really don't get why you'd place the palace where they did. I guess it would make it more easily defensible from attacks, maybe. Though, that might be relative, you know, since it's big enough you obviously put boats on it. What, this? This is nothing, my boy. <laughs> I think perhaps you better stop before you crush him. Ah, Sialides. I'm glad to see you looking well, too. George, Leon, thank you for seeing the prince home safely. Yes, of course, sire. Your Majesty, Commander of the Queen's Knights, George Prime, returning to post, sire. George, what in the world has gotten into you? <sighs> I don't know. I was told to mind my manners. <laughs> you never were one to listen to other people's advice, so why start now? Hmm. But on second thought, though, a little bit of prudence might be in order while you're back in the Imperial capital. More than a few nobles aren't very happy with you, being a newcomer at all. All right, I'll try to watch it. Wouldn't want to get you in trouble, Your Majesty. <laughs> Thanks, George, but I don't think you will have to worry 
too much about that. Uh, pardon me, your commandership. Shouldn't we... Hmm. Ah, yes. You're right. Your mother, I mean Her Majesty, is waiting for you. You should hurry along and see her now. But Your Majesty, we, uh... Sorry, now's not the time. I know what you've all seen, but there's nothing I can do about it right now. Our first priority and yeah, the other guy's obviously evil. Ah. Uh. His Royal Highness the Prince and Her Royal Highness Silenes have returned. We can recruit him later. He's rather tanky, to be honest, but I don't think I use him that much. I've been waiting for you. Don't be shy. Now come closer. Let me get a good look at you. Yep, I'm back, all right. Oh, my son. I've been so worried. I can't tell you how relieved I am that you're back and safe. Sialides, thank you for all you've done. I wasn't quite so worried about the prince knowing that you would be with him. No need to thank me. I love my nephew too, you know. <laughs> and thank you too, George. I'm grateful that you took on this task, hardly worthy of your talents. No thanks necessary, Majesty. Protecting the royal family is my sworn duty as one of the Queen's knights. And you, Leo. Y yes You're doing a fine job as the prince's bodyguard. Well done. I'm sure the day will soon come when you'll be promoted to a full-fledged Queen's Knight. But, Your Majesty, I already consider it a great honor, one I hardly deserve just to be allowed to be His Royal Highness's bodyguard. <laughs> it is such a great relief to me to know that the prince is in such good hands. Please continue to take good care of him. Yes, Your Majesty. Now then, yep. please report on your visit to Lord Lake. Nothing to report, besides Nothing desolation, there. despair. Simply tell me what you witnessed there. Disease, heartbreak. It was pretty ugly. Not as ugly as, um, Leon's past, but we'll get to that much, much later. Because the ghosts that past still hang around. This is Lord Lake? One of the most beautiful towns in the Queendom of Felena? Known for its pristine waters and lush woods? Damn. I heard it was bad. I never imagined it was this bad, though. Yeah, this is definitely Lord Lake. The town that used to be one of the most beautiful places in the Queendom. At least it used to be. Keyword on used to, because... After the Queen, you know, at least her wrath, there's not much left. Though why she did it is quite the political hot potato. And we're not going to deal with it until you know it comes up story-wise. Plus, I don't remember all the details myself. It's been a while. I thank you for traveling such a great distance. My name is Talgiel. I've been somewhat of a town representative here. Ever since his lordship passed away. I would love to offer to show you around a bit, but sadly, this town needs no guide. As you can see, there is nothing here but scorched dirt and bleary townsfolk. I'm afraid our residents might be rather impolite to you at times. I do hope you can forgive them. If anyone deserves punishment for this, it's me. Yeah, I'm sure we'll get into why another time he feels like that. But for now, we have an inspection to carry out. Like, can I say without the game crashing? I 
know, I don't want to leave Lord Lake. Yeah. It was crashing because I was using the bigger memory card. Go figure. And yeah, I have beaten this game before. That's why that save file has so much time on it. But we're going to create new save data. Assuming we have the room. Otherwise, I'm saving over my old data. Because it's not like I'd be losing much. Because when you go into a new game plus in this game, you don't get to keep all the money you spent on your level, on your, um weapons to upgrade them because you can upgrade your weapons to improve their attack or spend upgrading your skills to make yourself you know better at this that or the other thing all that stuff gets lost much to my annoyance the only thing you get back in a new game plus are all the items you've got stored in your storage but you don't get access to your storage until you know you're a pretty decent chunk of the way into the game already so it's really bloody annoying that wait you have to wait that long to even get anything out of it so you can start grabbing you know, good armor you've at least stored away or good runes you've put into storage you know for later usage like it really annoys me i assume the same goes for true for like the paintings and stuff that decorate the palace like you gotta store stuff in order to actually have access to it quickly it sucks and that's relatively quickly Till next time, then. See ya.